This week on the Rutgers Basketball Story, we take a look back at the Scarlet Knights' best plays of the year. We get to know Sean, the newest addition to the Rutgers family. Favorite team? Rutgers. And we hear from our freshmen on what it takes to be a Scarlet Knight. Good. We have 40 minutes. 40 minutes. To show them. To show them. What we represent. What we sacrifice. God. There you go. How hard we work. 40 minutes. To show them how big and how great we can be. 40 minutes to make every possession. It's going right to the lane. He it. How can it? Every play. Every cheer. That was all desire. Every shot. A three, it's gone. Make them count. 40 minutes. Make, make them, them count. count. Forty minutes. We will never have a quick game. The Scarlet Knights' first year in the Big Ten has been filled with memorable moments. Moments that inspire awe in the RU faithful. Justin Mitchell trying to stay with Mac. And they switched it. They got lost on the switch. Jack. With contact off the glass and in, he'll go to the free throw line, a chance for three. They got confused on that. Really nice finish by the senior. A great win for Rutgers. Jack just took it all the way, and he threw it down over no call. Just turning the corner, taking it himself. Well, I tell you, you, you put this guy on my team anytime. Recognizes there's no help, turns the corner, throws the cold to him. Woo, get some of that. Another powerful dunk by Rutgers, this one courtesy of junior guard Bishop Daniels. At 6'3", Daniels shows ridiculous hops. Mack will inbound with five and a half seconds to go. He'll get it back, three seconds. Miles Mack for the win! He hit it! Rutgers wins! Rutgers wins! Miles Mack gives the Scarlet Knights a 60-58 win with a three-pointer at the buzzer. Mack's buzzer beater was a sign of more magical plays to come. 6'7 sophomore junior E2 provided the punctuation mark on this play with the monster slam. Senior sensation Miles Mack came through big in the second half against Wisconsin. And he did it by nailing four threes. Mack also showed his savvy by setting up his fellow teammate. Mack got his man up in the air. All great patience. Mack waited for Jack. And he finishes with two hands in the ring. From good looks to fierce defense. Gets by Daniels. Rutgers with a chance for the lead. Giving it to Kadeem Jack up top of the key. Shot clock to 13. Jack in the lane. To the 10. Got it a foul. Regains it. Goes to the left. Oh, wait a minute. Power move by Kadeem Jack. That was all desired. And last but not least, the clutch layup by Mack that sealed the upset victory over Wisconsin. Mack, nowhere to go. Mack, got it! 
Yes, this season has had its share of highlights with many more still to come. especially with strong support from family, friends, and fans. And this place is erupting! We've seen history tonight in Piscataway. In the long history of Rutgers, never have they beaten a top five team. But tonight they have. like this, okay, so it goes past me, I can look this way, and then close, oh, 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 We do a number of things community service wise. Uh, we visit the local uh, hospital, Robert Wood Johnson Children's Hospital, um, around the holidays, and we do one in the fall and in the spring um, to go just be, spend some time with those kids and give them a little bit of uh, sense of, of worth sometimes. We also volunteer at the local soup kitchen, Elijah's Promise, um, sometimes just sweeping the floors or helping with meals, whatever we can do, do with them. Uh, we also partner with Team Impact, which is a nonprofit organization. It pairs children with uh, life-threatening illnesses or chronic diseases um, to a local college team. And, and we have a kid, Sean, 11-year-old with cerebral palsy. And uh, man, he really just brings uh, a light to our program. All right, Rutgers on three, y'all. One, two, three. Right, right. go three, y'all. <laughs> My name is Jello. Everybody call me Big Dog. No, oh, don't call him Big Dog. Jello? Say Thank Big you. Dog. High five. Jello. Say Big Dog. Jello. Hey. <laughs> you good? It's, it's, it's really inspiring for our guys to see him, and how limited he is, but how happy he is, and how much joy he brings to the table. So which ones did you have during the camp? Oh, cool. Which ones, the hot tops? Yeah. Oh. Mm. oh yeah. What grade are you in? Sick. Okay, okay. Is that all? Um, favorite color? Pink. Favorite team? Rockers. Favorite NBA team? Heat. Favorite football team? Girlfriend's name. Huh? What? No, I'm playing. <laughs> yes. This is just a great day for all of us, especially Sean, because I don't know if there would ever be an opportunity like this for him to be part of a team like this. So he's just so excited. The true success of a team isn't measured uh, in the four years that they're here. I think it's measured 10, 15, 20 years down the road. Um, the kind of fathers they are, the kind of husbands they are, the kind of leaders they are in their, their family, their church, their community. It's more about trying to get the community involved and it's less about just us going out there and playing basketball because it affects more people than just us. Sean Moffitt's press conference was, for me personally, uh, was really an awesome day for Rutgers basketball. And it's a big day for Rutgers University. We need someone to replace Miles and Kadeem, their seniors. Uh, and we need scoring, rebounding, assist, and leadership. So that's why we're drafting Sean today. I just want to thank you all for this great opportunity. He's so excited to join your family. So thank you. We're going to sign it. We just want to make sure everything is in place. Sean with his jersey down there. So he's an official member of Rutgers University basketball team. I'm so excited that I'm officially a basketball player on the Rutgers basketball team. And Sean's going to be at all the practices that he wants to be. Uh, he'll be on the floor, he'll be at games, um, in the locker room, and everything our players will do, he's able to do. Right. Who's your favorite Rutgers player and who are you going to pass to the most? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Junior. <laughs> oh, Junior.
and Greg. <laughs> and I think Sean was, was so happy. He was so excited uh, just to be part of something, uh, you know, because again, with his disability, he misses out on some things. Being a part of a team um, is it, hard for him at his age and in his condition. So for him to be a part of our team, I think was really special for him and his family. Corky McMullen's done a great job for us. He spearheaded this. Thanks, Corky. He gives effort. He's got resilient, uh, see, and um, he's a good kid. He uh, he loves to he loves the game of basketball, and he's going to pass to Kadeem in the post, and uh, he's going to make sure Junior gets his threes, and that Greg gets his jump shots. But you know he he uh, just personifies what we believe in. Rutgers on three. Family on three. One, two, three. Rutgers family. Thanks for coming, Mitch and Beth and Sean. We'll see you at practice. Okay. What's up, man? Thank you. Welcome to the team, man. <laughs> yeah, it's, got my, it's got my name on it. Thanks. Put it on. <laughs> awesome. Good job. High five, brother. All right. <laughs> and that day with Sean, I think, really sends a great message to our guys that there's a lot more to life than just basketball. Freshmen uh, who are playing, uh, Mike Williams is a terrific shooter. Um, he's even a greater defender. He's got a great, great technique to shoot the ball. He's got a willingness to um, be aggressive and take his shots, which we, we want him to do. DJ Foreman is a foreman with a real long wingspan, can, can rebound, can play in the paint. He's a driver and a finisher. Gets inside, leaves it for the so his ability to defend and his ability to get to the rim uh, means a lot to us. Shaq, or Shaquille Dorson, better known as Shaq, is uh, a great, great kid. He's um, got good size for us. He's a project, uh, but he's learned a lot. He's, he's improved a lot from where we thought he would be. Hayes going at Dorson. It's blocked by Dorson. Dorson, the game's first block shot. One dribble, two dribbles, goes at it! Two hands flush! The sky's the limit for him. His size, his intelligence on the floor, and his willing to work is, uh, is incredible. Brian Johnson, 6'7", he makes more shots in practice than anybody else, which is great. And uh, Ibrahima Giallo, who's um, really active, 6'10", center. Um, runs like a deer, very athletic, will guard the rim at all costs, uh, has a nice jump shot, but their development when they're sitting out this year will mean a lot for us going in the future. I was born here in best uh, I was born and raised in Amsterdam. I'm from Senegal in West Africa. Um, I mean, I've lived right here, my dad played here, so I saw it as a great opportunity and I was very excited to come here. I mean, from soccer to focus more on school and then I started playing basketball. And that's when I decided to come to America so I can have both an education and a basketball experience. So I really felt like a part of Rutgers at the first 10 seconds when I was here, when I saw the team. I couldn't see myself going to the states like Kansas, Nebraska. I couldn't see myself going that far because, you know, there's no, I have no family out there. You know, all my family is in New York. And, you know, Rutgers is one of the top schools academically. Like a lot of schools, like they didn't, tell, they didn't seem to have like a plan for me. 
Like it was either athletic wise or education wise. Whereas Rutgers approached me with both. But I chose Rutgers because of the the academic status that I heard about them and I trusted Coach Jordan. Like I heard I heard about him and when he recruited me and talked to me, I really trusted him and I thought it would be a right place for me where I can fit. Bring it all out. Rutgers on three. Family on three. One, two, three. Rutgers family. It was a family here. From the first time I met the guys, I could tell that this was like a brotherhood. He holds a lot of us together and put us on the right path to be successful. Very excited to play for Coach Jordan, so I mean, I'm loving it so far, so it looks like I made the right decision. When he, um, the way he talks to us, he just wants us, um, he wants the best for us. He has a lot of confidence in us and our abilities that he knows what we're capable of. He knows that we're, that we're able to do it. It's just a surprise a lot of people. Williams for three. Got it. It's a big pocket. It's a great feeling. Um, it feels like he's like almost like on, on our team, like one of the players. We like to recruit talented, and talent is always first when you talk about sports. Talented, dedicated student athletes, a kid who's working on his game, who wants to be a good student, who wants to be a good athlete, a good basketball player, who's got great character, who wants to be a great teammate and abide by the rules that we set. Oh, match up, jump to on the ball, get in, Mike! Close out, good, 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 Mike. Good close out, good close out, Mike. Good, good, good. help, 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 help. Good, very good, good job. We like to recruit talented, and talent is always first when you talk about sports. Talented, dedicated student athletes, a kid who's working on his game, who wants to be a good student, who wants to be a good athlete, a good basketball player. Steps in front of the pass, and Miles Max switch inside the field. Oh, could even Jack went over the last three games to this guy, Bishop Daniels. But you also want talented players that are competitive and have character and, and, and uh, are willing to buy into an unselfish system. So uh, anybody that fits that, they're more than welcome here at Rutgers. If you understand your teammates and you're willing to help your teammates first before you help yourself, and you'll create harmony within the team. Ah, don't worry about it. Nobody wants to um, be somewhere where they feel like they're unwanted. Everybody's friendly here. Everybody can talk to anybody here. So I guess that's, that's a big, that's a big positive about Rutgers basketball because you know everybody loves everybody. Um, you know, as players, their job is to love each other and to support each other. And as coaches, our job is to love the players. Family on three. One, two, three. Bam. When we say family. It really has a meaning to it, you know, because sometimes you can say words that don't really mean anything to you, but I really believe when we say family coming out of that huddle that our guys are in it together, whether we win, whether we lose, whether someone's playing poorly or someone's playing great, they're going to be there for each other, they're going to love each other, and they're going to pick each other up. We're all brothers here. Jersey ball is, is taking it to the rim, tough, pass and cut, defend, get down and really take pride in defending. You have to be resilient, you know, you have to be tough. You have to be tough mentally, you have to be tough physically, um, you have to be tough emotionally. If you're not willing to work, then don't come here because you're going to have to work. Here we go, 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 here we go. Here we go. Here we go. nice and light on the feet, light on the feet. There's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. Uh, you know, we try and make it look easy on, on the camera and when it's game time, but, you know, it's a lot of hard work in the weight room, out the weight room. Yes, there you go. Anytime we're together, or even if you're individual, when you come into a building, take your hat off for me, please, okay? This shows you that you're a gentleman. I, I think our guys have a big heart, and they enjoy giving back to the community. You know, we really strongly believe here at Rutgers that it's more important for our guys to be great people uh, than it is to be great players. When, when your child comes to Rutgers, or your young man comes to Rutgers, he's, he's in the family, uh, he's part of me, he's a Rutgers guy, and once he's finished, he's a Rutgers man. With the opportunity to live and work and operate and passionately pursue their dreams in New Jersey, sandwiched between the most energized population in the world, from New York City to Philadelphia, there's no better place to be in the world for a college athlete today. Yeah.